And if you're not in a relationship, who cares? Because there's no official rule on how to spend Valentine's Day. That's right. In fact, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn found the best way to spend the holiday might just be with your best friends. In classrooms everywhere. Do you want to do the dog or the owl? This week is all about showing a little love. We're going to use these foam hearts. But in this particular classroom. All right, Lisa, you ready to glue your ears on? It could be argued the love runs a bit deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the students. I'm making a Valentine. Certainly a bit older. No. I like to cook them in here every day, every day. This is the Easter Seals Older Adults Day program for those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The first day program um, of its kind in the state of Colorado. There aren't any other programs like us. Because most others cater to younger adults and children. We've created this calmer, quieter environment um, where we move a little bit slower. Six ladies in particular. Linda, Mary, Teresa, Lisa, and Missy. Have now lived together for 28 years. 28 years taking care of each other. They help each other. They rib each other. Meow. They also have an amazing knack for taking care of others in their community. Let's make Valentine for today. Steve, Veronica, Sunny, Melanie, all my friends. The ladies make cards at Valentine's, pumpkin pies at Thanksgiving. At Christmas, she has a you know, list of a million people that she needs to write Christmas cards for. Experts say this kind of engagement is critical because the disabled population, just like the general population, is living longer than ever before. Also have dementia on top of their intellectual and developmental disabilities. A community taking care of its own. They're so engaged in the community. Stimulation that feeds the mind. S is T. And the heart. My sister. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.